Yeah. I had to check and see if he was still alive, but when I, I had blown my hands. Cool. I had to check. But I turned myself in. I'm going back to Cali. 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 I'm going back to Cali. You know what I'm saying? 100 Degrees TV. How you feeling today, sir? All right, ma'am. That's pretty good, pretty good. My name is Robert Roy Cornelius Jr. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. This is uh, the Memorial Park. And over here we got, you know, kids and, you know, doing the skating and everything, you know. And, and I'm from Dolphin Island Parkway, born and raised. And, okay. You know, I'm after God's own heart, you know, like David yes. was. Because I do a lot of wrong things, but I make up for it. You know, I don't, I don't lie, I don't steal, or nothing like that. Yes, sir. I'm a, a ex uh, felon from uh, Pennsylvania. I did time up there. Mm -hmm. You know, during my traveling days, and I did my time up there. Gave them all that. And, you know, that's a uh, Commonwealth state. Got to do that straight time. You know. Mm -hmm. So you know, I was born, raised in Mobile. But not on this side between airport and government. But this part has really came up. These guys did a lot of work, you know, and I feel more comfortable because the Mobile uh, Police Department, you know, they do their rounds and everything and make sure everybody's safe. And, you know, and they, they all know me, you know, from Mobile. You know, yes, sir. Police officers do. Okay. Can but I uh, get your name, that, sir? Ma'am. Can I get your name? I'm yes. sorry. My name is Robert, Robert Cornelius. Mr. Robert Cornelius. How old yeah. are you? I'm 54. I was born 11, 10, 69. Okay. Okay. Um, you said you are from Pennsylvania or are you no, from Mobile? No, I was Mobile? born and raised born here. Born and raised in Mobile. Okay. Yeah, off of uh, Dolphin Island Parkway. Mm -hmm. And when did you go to Pennsylvania? Uh, that was back in 1992. Mm -hmm. um, if and you don't I mind. Fell, I fell, I fell after because I'm always in that new year of things. Yes, sir. So the following year, it was in 90, 1993 when I was 23, and that's when I got my time. Uh huh. July 5th. Okay. If you don't mind me asking, um, what did you do to become a convicted felon? Well, the man uh, stole from me after, you know, we had agreement in paper and everything that, you know, he would handle his financials and combine it with mine. But one evening, I was working with a boss of mine, you know, going around taking, you know, old junk from people's, you know, property that lay it out on the side of the road, whatever. Mm. And we go to the, the dump up there in Pennsylvania. And one thing led to another. I let this man in and he, he stole from me. He took, he took my TV, my, my uh, uh, it was a, uh, JVC stereo system, uh, a picture of uh, Paul Bear Bryant from uh, 1930, 1954 to own up. You know, it was a plaque you know, and all that. That was really valuable. Mm -hmm. And I ran into him that night and we got in a conversation and I had to protect myself. He went to swinging and one thing led to another by accident. We were having a conversation on, on broken concrete. And he slipped and fell. And it was during the night. And, and I was like, I didn't see him swinging. And then I didn't see him no more because it was dark back there. And I, I had my flashlight. I pulled it out. and I put, He was laying down there upside down. He had hit his head on a concrete piece of broken concrete. Mm -hmm. Jagged edge got him. He was bleeding and everything. And I was like, oh my God, I, I was making sure he was still alive and he was still, I had blood from him on my hand. And me being at fault as we, you know, touched each other, I felt at fault that it was my, my fault that he ended up like that. I'm sorry. And, I, and I found the police station, I turned myself in. And I told him where the body was. Mm. And they put me in the back of the police car and up this road, back behind, or back 
where a bar was next to McDonald's. They confirmed it, and they said, well, Mr. Cornelius, come out, and I'll put your hands behind your back. You know, we're going to see what's going on, you know. Yes, sir. I'm sorry to hear about that. I had to check and see if he was still alive, but when I, I had blown my hands. Mm -hmm. I had to check. But I talked myself. Yes, I did that time in 93, mm -hmm. 1993. How much time did you serve for that? Uh, 15 years. 15 years. I got out. Uh, 2008, I was 38. I got married November 10th of uh, 2008 mm -hmm. from July 5th. I got back in the mobile after I did my sentence. Walked free through the doors. And that's, that's 2008. Are you still with your wife? No, she got she was de she uh, deceased on me in 2012. I'm sorry to hear about that. And I haven't been with a woman or dated one once or took a movie out or dinner because I told my wife. I was socialized with women. Mm -hmm. You know, we drink a little bit, you know, whatever. Break bread. But I'm sure your wife would want you to be happy. You yeah, know what I what mean? Yeah, that's what she said. She says, don't leave yourself alone. Yes, and you should think about that I, daily. I don't. I don't. But don't. I'm sorry. The close knit, you know. In God's eyes, you know, I, I should have another woman, but I'm getting too old. I ain't got no siblings. Yeah, that was going to be my next question for you. I was going to ask you, did you have any siblings? No, ma'am. So, um, how was your childhood growing up? Um, uh, did you, my dad you... was uh, military, abusive. Uh, he was taking medication to his, uh, what is it called when you go through flashes and they, and they spurt out? It's called... Um, Syndrome something? I'm not sure. Uh, post post traumatic stress. PTSD. Oh, PTSD. Yeah, and he was having flashbacks. Okay. Being out in the desert storm when these guys just come out of the, going across the desert. He says it's all flat, desert, and winds blowing, and all of a sudden these come out of the of the ground. Mm. Like like oh, um, we call them ground spiders. They got little hatches. Flap opens up and he, uh huh. But these, that's what these guys had, and my dad had to deal with. Oh my goodness. But he had to go through a lot of psychological care. And How did that affect you, you know, when you were younger? Did it affect you? You know, well, it was, everything was military, you know. I, I was in junior ROTC in BC Rain High School. Okay. Off of Dolphin Island Parkway. Uh, I know BC exactly Rain. where it is. Yeah, and uh, I made sergeant in my first class. Okay. Within that. Within that year period, but that was early back. I don't know, like eighty nine, maybe ninety one, mm -hmm. ninety. I mm -hmm. made sergeant my first class. So how Man. was mom? Was mom pretty? You know. Yeah, she was bouncing back and forth. My mm -hmm. mom, and dad got a divorce, so mm -hmm. you know, my I had my two sisters, my baby sis. She's up in uh in the Rockies. So you I do guess. have a sister. Yeah, baby sis, and I got another sister that's below me of my age. She's okay, so about two 45. sisters? You have two sisters? Yes. Okay, okay. Yep, and I got probably I got a nephew I know of and two nieces from my oldest sis. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I'm the oldest. Okay. Um, How is your living condition now? Are you living with anyone? Someone's yeah, living with you? or how, temporary. How okay, you're living with someone? Financially, or oh, I'm paying out. 445 on bills and I'm supposed to be getting a golf cart that roll tide you know mm -hmm. golf cart you know but that's been going three months now yes sir and he says it's gonna cost 400 uh, so I only get 948 so he's splitting the difference and you get 948 from where uh my government check is not 940. 48 hmm. but he split the difference so four and four is eight plus the you know the 48 dollars okay it's going towards the bills and the 400 is going the the, the bills is 448 400 for the bills or for the um, golf cart okay so that leaves me with so are you getting along pretty well with him yeah, he's got real tight knit rules. He's got cameras everywhere. It's like Fort Knox. Have you ever seen Fort Knox mm -hmm. with all the security? Mm -hmm. That's I without know. the men. I'm talking about pressure sensors, motion sensors, like 
I don't think the predator can get through that. Mm-hmm. Well, do you feel <laughs> safe that way? That he, you know, that he has all the yeah. There the ain't nothing. There? there ain't there ain't nobody. Man, if a possum walks through there, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or a, a wood rat. You ever seen a wood rat? Mm, I'm talking about them. New York City type, but they don't eat bodies and stuff. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Um. <laughs> Boy, the mother of red eyes. Return of the rats. <laughs> but yeah. I've seen it all. I've been up in Mingleton, New York. I've seen Niagara Falls. That's that's before I got put in jail. Okay. Back in 1992. I fell in 93. So I had a six, three and a half month period. Niagara Falls twice. I didn't go over it. Mm-hmm. Tried parachuting, but they wouldn't let me. They wouldn't. <laughs> it's a no-fly zone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, as far as any substances, have you ever been introduced to any substances in the past or, or right now? Well... As- I drank on or mango margaritas, mm-hmm. you know, occasionally sociable, like I am now. You know, I mean, I got, I got H two O in here. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if I pour it out, it's gonna be it, like right? white as it is gonna be clear as water. Mm-hmm. But you know, other than that, I mean, I had one today, and you know, I ate some pizza and stuff. At Hungry Howie's, because that's where I work at. Mm-hmm. I work at Hungry Howie's. I do the boxes. And the liquor store next door to there. And he was inside here. He's, you know, I talked to the boss. He didn't need no help until this evening. So. Okay. So no type. He, he, he can verify that. <laughs> yeah. So no type of drugs or anything? No, no, no. Now, I've been around, you know. They'd be like, oh, you know, homie, this and that. And then, it, then you know, back off, you know, where it's in clothes. Pull out the glass, you know what I'm saying. So you've never been peer pressured? Nobody's ever tried to pressure you into Back trying in, it? No, well, in, you know, middle school day, yeah. yeah. What, did you try, what did you try in middle school? Oh, uh, you know, the, the first, uh, that, that weed, uh, it's called uh, Sense of Million, mm-hmm. you know, uh, Red Hair Scent, Christmas Tree Scent, Skunk Weed. Okay, I've never heard of those. Yeah, that's back in the day, though. That's back, that's back like, early 90s. Because this mojo they have out now is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. The first mojo came out. I was living out in Timmons Corner with my wife. I tried it. To, let's see. It was 2009. Called Headshot. Mm-hmm. First pro- product came out with, you know, mojo. Man, look. I bought a little package. It was cheap back then. Probably about $5. I don't know how many ounces, whatever. But, mm-hmm. you know, it rolls about two or three good ones, you know, pinners. But yes, hit that moment. Nyquil, keep it on the shelf. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It'll knock you out. It don't. You don't go through combustion. Now, if you consume too much, it make you do 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 do, and you're sweating, and then you pass out, and then nine one one. But you uncoherent. And you know um, that type of drug or any type of drug, you know, it, it does affect the body. I wonder. Why people makes still you, want to use it after you know? Well, if it puts you in the hospital and you're almost on your deathbed, it makes you think. Because mm-hmm. it almost did me like that. I was on Dolphin Island Parkway, living in a trailer park with Big Dave. We call him Papa Dave on DIP. Mm-hmm. And I tried that man. I hit it like three times. But man, look, I the was, mojo. Yeah, mm-hmm. and fluids coming out of my mouth, sweating. Heartbeat erratic, and you're blacking out, in and out, but you're, you're flopping like a fish out of water, trying to breathe air. Yes, I, I've seen, I've seen people. It happened to me one time. Guess what? When that new movie came out, Shazam, and you're chewing that bubble gum. That's what I was doing. Shazam, and I got right. Mm-hmm. No more of that. Does it make you hallucinate, the mojo? No, no, it just hypes you up. Mm-hmm. It's like when I when I smoke, if I smoked it right now, I go over there and say, "Excuse me, can I pour? Oh, nobody's on that swing. Can I?" I just go swinging. You know how you swing high when you're a little kid and you jump out of the swing. Jump my my tippy toes hit the tip of the branches. Remember that old boy? Remember that? Old boy? <laughs> and just jump yeah, out. Yeah. So that's it. you know you I want to tuck and roll. You get up. They'd be like, oh. Oh, you all right, sir? Yeah, I'm fine. What's up? You want to try it? And they're like, oh, no. They're like, how old are you? 45. 
So if anybody's watching this, Mojo is not the way to go. Any type of drugs is not no. to, to wait, the way to go, of course. But no, ma'am. Mojo is not anything that you will want to do. Uh, I'm not going to hold you up too much longer. I do want to mm -hmm. ask you. Um, I know you're a believer of God, right? Oh, Is yeah, you? definitely. Okay. So I was born, 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 raised Catholic. I was baptized as a, as a baby. You know, uh, I, I was called a tadpole because I was born in a pool at my own home from mm -hmm. DIP. Mm -hmm. They called me a guppy, you know, or tadpole. Mm -hmm. Born in water. Okay. As you can see, I'm like Aquaman. <laughs> Do not touch my brother. <laughs> I do that. You got a good sense of humor. Oh, yeah. Well, um, be. yeah. And look at him. He's like the cameraman of all day. Snoop Doggy Dog need to hire him. Snoop Doggy Dog needs to hire him. <laughs> or 50 Cent. Go hey, ahead you and see 50 Cent existence. Now? He's still doing his push up and he's got a little gain, a little weight. I mean, you need to do my, uh, uh, lower body and upper body when you had that six pack back in the day. <laughs> All right, remember so we'll he got, remember he got heavy. Mm -hmm, I do remember that. I do remember. And look, Snoop Doggy Dog still the same. Still the same. Still small. You know, I'm just thinking about my money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yes, thinking about sir. my money. Got my mind on my money. My money on my mind. Yes, sir. Laid back, sipping on Kool Aid juice. <laughs> oh, okay. He ain't sipping on that, you know. He's, he's smoking. He's smoking a lot now. Well, he's, he's always been a smoker. You seen the sun lately? I haven't. Yeah, you got a little rap going on, you know. You like that, but they, they had they had one video together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think you remember that, don't you? Yeah. See, I keep up with the old stuff and new stuff. Yes. I'm going back to Cali, Cali, Cali. I'm going back to Cali. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> All right, sir. Well, My this lady's name is Jane. She wants to be the same. I'm going. I'm going. You know what I mean? Yep. All right. All right man, LL Cool J, he got that new motherfucking SCI going on. He get his... He, oh, I thought this was a Hellcat. I'm sorry. Close. It's close to a Hellcat. That's what he drives. You know that? In his, in his movies? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. You know, how fat, you know how fast this car will take off with a Hellcat? This will leave the line on that Hellcat. Cause he's got to spin his wheels and yeah. <laughs> and he'll be like, woo hoo. <laughs> yeah, pink ticket for you, sir. Uh -huh. Oh, you got it. I know it. Going back to Cali now. <laughs> Going back to Cali. You know. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, well, this is gonna pretty much conduct the interview. I yes, have a um a homeless help and sh shelter uh sheet for you. Okay. Different uh locations um where you can it's get a hot meal, the the day of the week and the time, yes, sir. Okay. And also on this sheet, it shows you different facilities where you can uh, get some type of shelter. Yes, ma'am. So okay, um, I have this for you, and I also have here you go. I also have a care package bag for you. Oh, uh oh, it ain't gonna be his watch, is it? No, sir. It's not gonna be his watch. Okay, it's gonna be close. <laughs> but it's gonna be some stuff that you need in there. So I know, I know, I know. So that's for you, and um, we appreciate your time and your yes, transparency in this interview, and we Not pray problem. that you have a blessed day today. Okay. Oh, uh, you know this whole glow, this whole car is glowing with you in it, <laughs> and him is the driver. Yes. We'll be going, ma'am. Yeah, we're going <laughs> that way. Yeah, yes, that's, that's a cool man you got right there. He is. He's a blessing. Hey. One of a kind. He is. You can see it on him, can't you? That's what you? my wife told me. I'm you're one of a kind, baby. Just and so you are. are. <laughs> so are you. You know what I mean? That's what my wife said. You are definitely one of a kind. Yep. So we thank you so much for your time and have a blessed day. God bless y'all.